what's up guys this is how to teach x my name is axel and today we're going to talk about prepositions now first of all what are prepositions according to the books a preposition is a word governing and usually preceding a noun or a pronoun and expressing a relation to another word or element in the clause. What? Let's break this down because no one wants abstract grammar explanation. Prepositions help to better define a place, time or direction. For example, let's think of an everyday situation. Your sister has a picture of your family hanging on the wall. But the phrase on the wall does not specify which wall. By the way, on is already a preposition that defines the location on one of the walls. Now you could use the preposition above to say the picture hangs above her bed. Then everybody knows that the picture hangs on the wall above her bed. However, if there are several pictures on that wall and you want to specify the location further, you could use the preposition next to, as in the picture hangs above her bed next to the window. Meaning the picture that we're talking about is the one closest to the window. As I said, everyday situation, your family might talk about family pictures, for example, and that specific family picture comes up and your sister asks you to get it from her room so you all could look at it. Now your sister could use this sentence to tell you where to find the picture. Everyday situation. Nailed it. Now this was an example for preposition of place. Now let's give one for direction. Scenario. You and your friend are hiking. And okay let's be honest this is kind of a no-brainer. In which direction do you go first. You go up, except if you parachute down from a plane, but then you still kind of go up with the plane, so you always have to go up first. So with the preposition up, you say we hiked up the mountain. Then you're probably going to talk about how great the view was, so you could use more prepositions like from, as in the view from the top was amazing or across. You could see across the whole country. But in the end, except if you plan on starting to work at the mountain hut or if you plan on staying on the mountain forever, you will eventually use the preposition down to say something like in the end we safely went down again. Now I think you can imagine that there are a lot of prepositions. Let's look at some of them. The sentence the girl is blank the car. You could say the girl is on top of the car, so she's standing on it. You could say the girl is behind, so the car is closer, or in front of, so the girl is closer. You could say the girl is next to the car, or standing next to the car, so she's just maybe like this on one side of the car. Should do a model shoot like that. Hmm? So you could also say the girl is below the car then you would probably use the word under, but if she's below the car, so the car is on top of her. Yeah, let's skip that example. We don't want that to happen anyway. What's the most likely scenario though? The girl is in the car, because what do you do? You drive. Now some directions of movement. The girl goes to the car. The girl comes from the car. The girl climbs out of the car. The girl jumps on the car. The girl jumps off the car. The girl walks along the car. So this could either mean the car is driving slowly and both move in the same direction or the car is standing still and the girl is just walking past it. You could also use a weird example like the girl is climbing through the car. Maybe she comes in through the trunk and climbs all the way through to the front door to get out there again. You might say this is a weird example, but there are very narrow parking lots where you might have to get into your car through the trunk. Been there, done that. More examples. We have a river and a bridge across it. So the girl, let's use the girl again, walks across the river. Then let's say there is a stop sign next to the river. So the girl walks 
towards the river but stops at the sign. The girl might also be good at jumping for example and therefore she jumps over the river. Now the next example is quite difficult in the context but let's still say the girl is a good swimmer and does not want to use the bridge. So she swims through the river on one side and back on the other side of the bridge. So therefore she kind of went around the bridge. If the stop sign from earlier does not bother her, she walks past it. So she does not stop at the stop sign, she just walks past it. Then the girl could also be good at diving. So she dives under the water to get to the other side of the river. However, now thinking about it, who, who dives under a river? Hmm. As I said in the beginning, prepositions are also used as time indicators. For example, the preposition in is used for months, as in in July or in the month of September, for years, so in 1966 or in the year 1900. You could also use it for specific points in the future, so in a minute or in a fortnight, which means two weeks. For seasons, so in winter or in the summer, for times of the day, so in the morning or in the afternoon. You could also use it for duration, so to tell in two minutes or in a week. Another preposition that is used in the context of time is at. For example, for telling the clock. So at six o'clock or at 7 p.m. For holidays, at Christmas, for example. For other times of the day, for example, at dawn or at night, times of the day at night, okay. <laughs> to tell points in time, for example, at the weekend or also on the weekend for American English, at the same time and so on. The third preposition that is used in connection with time is on. So for example, it's used for days, so on Sunday or on my birthday for dates on the 25th of December or also for other specific times of the day. So on the morning of September 18th, something happened. Lastly, there exist other prepositions that are also used in the context of time. Those are, for example, after, after lunch, before, before dinner, between, between lunch and dinner. Another one is by, so by Monday, something has to be done by Monday, till or until, similarly used as by, so something has to be finished till or until tomorrow, from, from July until August, so time span, to, 10 minutes to eight, again to tell the clock, within, so also to tell a time span where something has to be done, within five days, and we have four, and since four or five hours duration or since since a specific point in time for example since monday all right this was a lot of information to process now you know what comes next it's your turn this is a text example where you should find the prepositions again feel free to pause the video mark them or write them down and we're going to talk about it in right about now reading or writing text messages while you're walking is dangerous a new study says it's more dangerous than texting while driving the study is from the university of buffalo in the united states of america Researchers found that there are more injuries per kilometer to texting pedestrians than there are to texting motorists. The report says walking is not as easy as we think it is. We need to focus on many things at the same time to walk safely in a straight line. The research team said that people forget how to walk properly so dangerous things happen to them. They bump into walls and other people, walk into cars, fall over things in the street, and even fall into holes or down stairs. So what do you think? Should you use your phone while walking? You should probably rethink. So put your hands up. Who uses their phone while walking as a pedestrian? Yeah, we should probably stop that. <laughs> so I modified the second half of the text because you definitely want to know what's going to happen there, as this is an interesting topic. 
but this time I left out the prepositions and you have to fill them in yourself. Now feel free to pause the video again and you'll see the solutions in right about... I should stop saying. A University of Buffalo professor said, walking is a complex action. He said that there are several reasons why texting stops people from walking properly. One reason is that they cannot see the path ahead of them. Another is that they are focused on their fingers on their mobile phone keyboard instead of their feet on the street. A final reason is that their minds are somewhere else and not on thinking about walking from A to B safely. The professor said over 6,000 people visited his hospital last year because they were insured while texting. He said the worst cases are head injuries. When a pedestrian is tossed into the air after being hit by a car, he or she has nothing to protect the head. Protect the head? Watch the video on the definite article. <laughs> and the damage can be serious. So what do we learn? Don't use your phone while you're moving at all, only on your couch at home. We are very responsible people. Or just use old things like this one. It's not a smartphone. I don't know why I did that. Okay, third exercise. You should imagine a photo shoot of a female model posing with a car. Unfortunately, the girl does not know where she should pose, so you tell her with the following pictures. Feel free to pause the video again and remember what the positions are called. You might say to the girl, first you should pose on top of the car, then you walk behind the car, come to the front of the car, pose in front of the car, then you walk to the side and you pose next to the car. Then she should crawl under the car. So we take a picture below the car. I did not write the script for the photo shoot, so don't sue me. Actually, I did. But lastly, as the girl did a great job, she can climb into the car and take pictures in it. So everyone's happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. All right, so in case you did not understand all of what we just went through, feel free to watch the video again. And of course, if you like our work, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also visit our website www.howtoteachx.wordpress.com. Yes, I know it's a WordPress site, but the other thing costs. Okay. And give us a thumbs up. Thank you for your participation and see you in the next video.